consultant. I've been doing this since about um, the end of December, and this is my first tutorial, tutorial video. Um, uh, what a pain in the butt it was to get up my iPad to sit up and be able to see my nails, but I did it. Um, don't mind my messy kitchen. Um, I've had a sick boy all day, so I meant to do this video a lot earlier, but yesterday turned out crazy, and I apologize for my hair. I'm going to the gym later. Anyways, let's get started. Um, this first video is going to be about removal. Um, I've taken off all of my jewelry because I like to use um, oil to remove my jam berries. Um, I haven't really given my cuticles very much love lately, but um, here are my jams. I work in a warehouse and I've had these jam berries on for two weeks. Um, I love jam berry. In a warehouse environment, forklifts, boxes, dirt, dust, packages, or you UPSing things that always chipped my nails. There was no point to doing my nails. The only thing I'd ever do was shellac because it would at least stay on, but then it's like $35 gone, right? And then it grows out and yeah, I never had the money to go back and get it for like another few months. So um, that's just a little spiel. Oh, I like Jamberry. <laughs> um, what I'm going to be using is I've used... Um, Nail polish remover, acetone based. I've also used olive oil, coconut oil, anything oil is good. What I'm gonna use today um, is our, actually, ooh, whoa, okay. It's our <laughs> Jamberry um, cuticle oil. Um, I love this stuff. I have horrible cuticles. If there's nothing on my fingernails, my cuticles get really bad. So. Um, that's why I like to, I've been starting to use this to remove my jams because, uh, it's been helping my cuticles too. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just applying it where, where they direct you to, just to your cuticles, and I'm also extending it over the, um, very back of the jam berries. So, gosh, I can't figure out where the, there's the camera. Um, so that's what I'm doing is I'm just getting it nice and oily. Um. And then in our application kits, we have um, something that's included in all of them called an orange stick. So um, I like to use that. I use this edge down and I come to the back of my jam berries and just start to lift them up. Mm -hmm. And then I just, um, I lift them up, I don't know about that much. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll apply more oil. So let's make and show you. And if you see my, hear my son coughing in the background, he's he's okay. He's trying to take a nap. Um, his second one of the day, he's had a fever and it's been very scary for a first time mommy. Anyways, um, so then what I'm gonna do is just come underneath um, with the cuticle oil or whatever oil you choose or Oops, this one didn't peel up. Um, and you can also just dig in. Instead of using an orange stick, you can just dig in with your fingernails. I don't know about you, but I really like to pick things off my fingernails. <laughs> so that's actually probably how I'll do the rest of it because it's really enjoyable for me. I don't know why. Um, because I'm weird. You're weird, Eli. Why, why do you do that? Um, okay, so, <clears throat> so I've applied more oil. You can kind of rub it down. You know, without explaining um, this removal process, I probably would have been done already. <laughs> but uh, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this. So you guys can actually see what it's like to remove jams. Um, since they are uh, vinyl, they come off um, all in one piece. So that's nice. You don't have chips everywhere that your dogs or kids can pick up and try to eat. <laughs> um, just make sure you get the... completely removed. Um, the ones that have metallic under them, I don't know if you can see that, but they sometimes leave like a metallic, um, it comes right off, but they, it, it's a, kind of a different kind of a glue. It's not, it's the same glue, but it leaves some of the metallic on it. Um, it comes right off though. But usually what I find is the very end I'll have like a little metallic glue French tip. <laughs> um, so anyways, I'm just picking off the last one and peeling it back and then 
what I'll do is I'll just go back with um, more oil. Again, whatever kind of oil you want to use. I just love the smell of this and uh, how, what it does for my cuticles, especially when I'm about to do another jamic here. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of using my um, thumb just to kind of feel for any residue that might be on there. Um, and again, that one's always a pain. The metallics are beautiful, but um, they're about 1% harder to take off than the other ones. So I'm just coming back with my orange stick. And a lot of that will come off when I wash my hands too. Um, but anyways, now that my finger, so they're kind of dirty under there. <laughs> because again, I work in a warehouse. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> so um, that's my fingernails without the jams. Fingernails with jams. Oh, jams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my tush over and wash my hands. Okay, so now I'm going to work on my second one. Um, remove the jams from these fingers. And I'm going to take the jams off of these fingers. I'm going to use our cuticle remover. Um, it's all, it's, it's like a rosemary oil. Um, so it smells really good. It's really good for your cuticles. Um, you can use a nail polish remover, uh, to get underneath your nails. You can use coconut oil, olive oil, whatever you want. But again, I'm just going to start out by picking these. Again, I like to kind of get them down to about that level and then apply more oil. That way it really starts to soak underneath. Then I have another metallic one here. And this whole time I'm doing this, all that I can ever think about is the next jam of year I'm going to do because it's so exciting to pick it out and know that my nails will look fabulous for the next two weeks. Um, kind of contemplating love spell. I've seen a lot of my jam, jam girlfriends put that on and it's just so pretty and I think I could make it last until Valentine's Day. This jam berry's awesome. Okay, again, I'm just getting it to about there and I'm putting more oil. Uh, I've heard some people complain that when they take their jams off, it, it's almost like it distresses their nail underneath. It's because you're not using anything to get it off. You want to use oil at least. Um, you can also do a method where you heat it up with your heater, which looks like that. You just reheat it back up and then it basically becomes pliable again and you can take it off. But I just prefer the oil method because it kind of gives my my nails that have been hidden for two to three weeks a little love. <clears throat> so I'm almost done with this second hand and then my next video will be about application. So I hope this is making sense. If not, please leave comments for me. I'm new, but I like to answer questions. I'm learning pretty fast, and I have a lot of resources to answer your questions, too. So, um, anyways. They are at yet. I am on my last one, which because I forgot to bring my pinky up. Um, it's metallic. Anyway, so my jams are off. You saw them on, now they're off. But now my fingers are oily and I'm going to go wash them. I recommend using Dawn soap. I use um, the free and clear you can see right there because I wash baby bottles and stuff. But Dawn seems to be really good at um, getting all the excess oils and dirt off of your fingernails, which is what you want. Um, so that's it, I'll be back for application. And hopefully by then I've decided which one I'm going to actually apply. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. I'll be back. Okay, so I lied. Um, this next video is actually going to be on removing what is called the invisible cuticle. I don't think I have it right now, but it's always a good idea after you've removed your Jamacure to come back and um, clean up your cuticles and make sure that you don't have the invisible cuticle. What that is is that it's it's not like a full-fledged grown out cuticle over your nail. It's just a little layer that will actually make your jams um, kind of start to peel up there, which isn't good because then 
it obviously means that they're not going to last as long. So, um, Jamboree doesn't sell these, but you got to know what these are, the, the cuticle remover. Um, I use these after I, I push my cuticles back. This is available. It's just a plastic cuticle pusher. It's available in the application kit. Um, so you just want to make sure you're coming in your, uh, just, this will also help clean up any excess glue um, that you might not have gotten off the first time you wash your hands or with the oil, but you just, I just like to push up my cuticle so that I have something to clip off. I mean, this is very basic stuff, but I didn't know about this until I actually started getting my nails done. <laughs> I am a tomboy and I um, work, have worked in a warehouse for quite a while, so I've always kind of had raggedy fingers <laughs> but they're getting better with jamberry which is awesome um so yeah that's all i'm doing is i'm just so you can see i don't have the best cuticles i mean we all get hang 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 nails and stuff but like i said earlier um having things on my nails has really helped um make it so that i don't get as many hang nails i think it's because i mess with my nails less I don't know exactly, but, um, and so then I just come through and do it with the next nail. So, how's it going? <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, thanks for watching my videos. This is kind of exciting. I know I promised one of my good friends to do videos when I started the Jamboree business. So, I am getting a little bit of a late start, but, um, it took me forever to get my heater. They were back ordered forever because of the strike in Seattle, but um, I finally have it and I'm so excited. This is actually my first JAMA here without using a blow dryer. <laughs> so that's exciting for me. Um, anyway, so then I'm, um, this brand is called Miss Manicure. I actually like it better. I bought thinking that it would be better as Sally Hansen and it's not very sharp. So I more just tug skin off and it hurts and it makes worse hangnails so miss manicure that's what these ones are they're pretty sharp um that's all i'm doing and then i'm going to clean up underneath my nails and then i'm gonna uh, check on my son <laughs> i'm gonna come back and um uh show you guys how to get your jamicure on and no i still haven't decided which one i'm gonna do so i'll think about that Anyways, uh -huh. thanks for watching. That's all I'm doing. I'm taking my cuticles off. I want to make sure they're off for a good jam. All right, I'll be back. Okay, hi. Um, I'm just going to show you another thing that I do. I use our Jamboree Buffer Block and our nail file after I've trimmed and done my cuticles and I've trimmed my nails up. What I like to do is just come back with a lightly on a nail file just to smooth out the... Uh, tips of my fingernails so we all know how to file it's kind of boring but that's all I'm doing um, it's the buffering that I found I think really helps uh, this particular application I'm actually going to also use smoothing gel and sorry for us to turn off my TV when I started recording but Criminal Not Minds is on should be over soon <laughs> um, that's all I'm doing here is, um, of course, to get my jams off, I'm going to actually be filing as well, so I'm not filing a ton. But on the top of my fingers, what I like to use, I have pretty ridgy nails, so they've got some ridges. <laughs> I just smashed my fingernail too many times in my life. It doesn't grow out quite right anymore. So I take our buffer block. You can use any kind of a buffer block. I get the ends of my nails, and I just kind of try to smooth out my nails like I said again I'm going to be using our smoothing <coughs> excuse me base coat on this application too but creature of habit um, so that's all I'm doing I just didn't want to forget to tell y'all just a couple passes on each nail and this buffer block does come in um, application kit. Application kit is twelve fifty without the nail oil, and I think it's like twenty two dollars with. Just FYI, I love our app kits. They come in this cute little purple bag. Can't go wrong. All the supplies you need. So that's all I've done there, 
And then um, I'm actually, just because I haven't used our cuticle oil in a while, I'm gonna go back over my cuticles and um, before I do this application, I'm gonna let my nails breathe for a little bit and I'm going to let this soak into my cuticles and rub it in like it tells you to and then I'm going to wash them again. <laughs> and then I will be back to show you my Jamicure application tips and how to do it. So again, thanks for watching. I'll be right back. All right, so I just wanted to come in and show you how fabulous my cuticles look after that nail oil. I know this lighting isn't the best, um, but they were pretty raggedy and it took me all of five minutes to clean them up and get the oil in and I'm very happy with the way they look. So <laughs> I just wanted to share that and I'll be right back. All right, hello again. Hi. Um, I've decided I'm going to do Love Spell. I love Love Spell. And I actually got this sheet uh, for free from my upline for selling Jamberries. So you still get free stuff when you work for the company. It's pretty cool. You actually get a lot of free stuff. Um, so anyways, this is Love Spell. It's out for Valentine's Day. It's beautiful in person and I think um, I think it's one of my favorites so without further ado <laughs> let's put them on what I use to get my jams on are our scissors that come in our application kit I love them they're kind of curved so it's easy to trim off around a curved nail bed um, or nail tip I need my file again comes in my application kit and this time, like I mentioned, I'm actually going to open up and use my smoothing base coat. So, like I mentioned before, I have um, pretty ridgy nails. I don't know if you can see that. I also have very curvy nails. Um, so, it's kind of been trial and error for me to um, put jamberries on, but it has um, worked out well for me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to give this guy, I should actually read the directions. Um, clean nails with prep wipe. Crud, I forgot my prep wipe. So, um, I'm going to go grab that. In every application, they recommend you use, um, Jamboree recommends you use a prep wipe. Uh, these come in the application kits. Um, you can get them from me. I can purchase them. It's just basically alcohol, um, rubbing alcohol on a sheet, pre moistened sheet. And so, this is, its primary goal is to remove excess oils from your nails and thank goodness I read the directions because <laughs> I'm human and I would have forgotten. Um, it looks like I'm gonna have to go get my son out of bed so I will do this and then I will be right back. Okay we're gonna have some background noise that I'm probably gonna turn down. My son is up from his bed, bedtime, nap time. Um, he has been sick and it has been horrible. It hurts the mom's heart. Sorry, I just turned it down a little bit. <laughs> I mean, most of us are moms and we understand. So I guess this will show that, bless you, buddy, that you can do your jamberries while watching your toddler son. I said it. <laughs> so, anyways, I am done with my wipe. Now I'm just going to put them air out. I'm actually going to turn on my heater. That's how quiet it is. Super quiet. Super, super quiet. <laughs> um, and now, 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 I'm going to apply the smoothing base coat. So I've never really been good at nail polish. I guess this is kind of like nail polish. This is just going to hopefully even out my nails, make for a little bit better of a application. Even though I've been having pretty good luck lately with my jam applications, I just wanted to try this out. Are those your turtles, buddy? My son is absolutely in love with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shows, as he says, shows, shows, turtle, turtle. So I'm just applying this. It's kind of white. Um, reminds me of every time I thought painting my nails white would be a good idea and then I just look like I put white out on there. <laughs> you always see it in the magazines and it looks so pretty, but 
never worked for me. Sorry if this is taking a while. We all fast forward these parts that take a while in the video editing. So it's going on pretty good. I don't think you want to do it too too um, thick, just evenly. Again, this is my first time with it, so... Have I said that enough yet? <laughs> Can you sing, Jason? Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Alright. So, it's on. Hopefully my nails now are smooth. It's already drying, for the most part. Let's see if the heat helps. See if there's any more directions on here. What I love about our nail lacquers while I'm waiting for this to dry, all of them, I know that's probably backwards, but um, are without, uh, we say it's five free. It doesn't have DVP formaldehyde, tooling formaldehyde resin, and camphor, um, which I like. It lists the ingredients on the side, which I always like as well. Um, so yeah, it says, Um, application, clean nails, apply one to two coats fill, to fill your ridges, follow with your favorite professional lacquer, um, also for use under wraps. So obviously that's what I'm doing today because we don't need to watch me paint my nails, even though you just did. Um, it's already dry. So it's on there. They do feel a lot smoother. I don't think there's any helping this nail, but I'm going to go with one coat today. Um, I'm gonna, not sure if this is what you're supposed to do, but something inside of me says to put a little wipe on each one and then dry them again. I kind of all, um, since I've been doing Jamboree, I've just kind of, I haven't watched many tutorial videos. I just kind of wing it, um, because I'm weird like that, I guess, but anyways. Next step is, got your sheet of Jamborees. <coughs> You okay, buddy? What I like to do is um, I have, I'm lucky enough to have fingernails that actually match up to a lot of these sizes. If you don't, I would recommend um, looking up the scotch tape method. It works. Uh, I've um, sent ladies in that direction before, but um, an important tip Again, is to use an orange stick or something similar to peel up your wrap so that you're not getting um, the oils on your fingernails on it. At first, you'll want to kind of come through and figure out which nail, which one's going to work best on your nail. I just kind of hold it up and I curve it and I just kind of check out both sides. I never usually go to the, to the edge um, because it'll just end up peeling off if it gets on your skin. So I always just make them a little bit smaller than I think I'm going to need, or I, I pick one that's a little bit smaller than I think I'm going to need. So I found out for this finger, I'm going to use this one, this silver one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> it's kind of hard when you're doing it on camera, but um, I'm going to peel it off using the orange stick, which of course doesn't have any nail oils on it, so it will stick lovely. And then just kind of stick it there like that and I'm gonna cut it in about half I know there's ladies out there that like to use the scraps and all that kind of fun stuff but I'm creative but I guess I'm just not that talented yes baby I love you um so now all I'm doing is um heater I, this is again like I said the first time I'm using the heater but what you want to watch for is when your nail see how it's curving right there it's kind of flapping up it means it's getting warm and it's getting close to apply to your nail so I'm just gonna make sure it's really nice and warm I'm used to doing it with a blow dryer and it just kind of flaps everywhere but this is a nice even consistent heat so I don't think it's gonna do that it's just gonna curve um, and then I do with my fingers grab the very base the part that's not gonna go on my nail I don't have very long nails so and then I just um, take it and um, position it on my nail and don't be afraid to pull it up stretch it out um, do whatever you need to do when it's pliable 
um, i.e. when it's warm. So it's going on. And then I always come back and I, uh, I put it back in front of the heater and I stretch, tug, pull it a little bit more. I make sure it's even. Um, I love our sparkle wraps. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Um, so there you go. You can see I have a little excess. You can see it's not completely on the side of my nail. Um, that's how I prefer to do it. I then come back and I, again, I'm pulling. I'm tugging on this bad boy. And you can do that. That is fine. I like to make sure it's tucking underneath my um, nail a little bit. I then will take my handy dandy scissors and I'll trim a lot of that excess off. Like I said, some girls save this, use it. I don't. Um, that's just me. I am not that talented, I guess, yet. Yet. It's always room for improvement. Um, never a bad idea to put it back underneath the heat. Again, blow dryer, space heater, car heater, jamboree heater. Love jamboree heater. Um, take it and then try to do this for the camera to see. You'll want to take your file, very gritty file, and start filing downwards. Don't. I trimmed it like you saw, but don't try to trim it off and call it good. Filing it will actually help seal the end. What starts to happen is it starts to roll up. Again, I go kind of at a 45, kind of some, then I alternate between straight down. And what I'm doing here is I'm getting the very tip of my jamboree nail off. And this file is a little bit older, so sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But um, sometimes it sticks to your skin. But pretty much, I've got my jam on. And it's beautiful. <coughs> you okay, buddy? Yeah. All right. And then I just kind of come back, make sure there's no excess. Never a bad idea, again, to put it underneath your heat source. Can't stress this enough. Um, but again, stretching, pulling, tugging. Like I said, I have nails that curve that way. They call it a baseball curve because they curve that way, and then they curve that way. So um, when I was first doing jam applications, I would always get kind of some crinkles up here until somebody said, hey, tug that bad boy over your nail, <laughs> and I did. Um, so that's one. Obviously, I'm going to do the rest. What I found to do, um, since my nails are pretty even, is that with the part that I cut off, as I come back and then um, I put this one on this finger, I'll put the other one on this finger. I know some ladies out there is just reading a post. They like to alternate um, between, like, make a total mismatch manicure. I make it kind of mismatched, but it, I'm a little OCD, so it kind of has to be the same on both, both hands or else I go crazy. So I'm just taking that other one and I'm heating it back up. I'm waiting for it to curl, as I'm sure you can see there in the video. Um, it's curling, heating up both sides, getting it nice and warm. Then after that, I again grab the end that I know is going to be cut off. I find the nail that I want to apply it to, which is my ring finger on the opposite hand. I line it up, and again, see, it wasn't straight, so feel free, pull it up, make sure it's straight. By all means, that's not gonna wreck your Jamacure. Right, buddy? So, I like to just kind of, a lot of girls come and they use the, the, the plastic um, cuticle pusher, but I like to use my fingers. Um, I feel like I can apply more pressure and make sure they're really stuck on. So it's on. Now I'm going to heat it up again. And I think the smoothing base coat is really going to be good. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's been sick, so I'm worried about him. Um, okay, then again, I'm, I'm coming and I'm just kind of pushing it under. And I'm making sure the edge doesn't have any of those pesky wrinkles I was just talking about. Um, but yeah, pretty much that. <laughs> That's pretty much all you do. And then, so I just trimmed it. And now I'm going to take my file. Again, I'm just filing downward. 
waiting for it to kind of start to roll. I'm using kind of an old file. Uh, again, really gritty files are going to be easier. Um, but it's starting to, you can see it, come off. And then I can pull it, you can cut it off, um, that little rolled edge. And then come back and perfect it. That's um, pretty much it. Got both those on. They mimic each other. Okay, so my iPad apparently had a ton of apps on it that I didn't need, and it said I didn't have enough space to continue recording. So all that I've done is I've shut that off. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah?